Good afternoon, everyone. T-Speaker 222XRP, Future Millionaire with the side by the on Future Digibyte OG. So, guys, we're at that point right now where it's decision time. Not for the long hold, but just a short-term play. Do you think that this is going to act as support? So, we'll do it on XRP because no one gives a shit about Bitcoin. I know I don't, unless it's a, for price purposes. But this is what I was showing earlier. Are we going to do one of two things, guys? Are we going to make one more push up before we come down? So basically you see the two scenarios where we bounce down right to 65 or whatever, but there's also this scenario where we could ride this and if we use this as support temporarily, we could come up and complete this W I was talking about. It won't go up that high, but there's always the chance we come back up to the, I'm assuming the 200 day is somewhere around a dollar, like not even that high. It's probably somewhere around like that dollar eight, dollar 15 range. So, but I think we have to pull back. And do this before we get the W completion. But there's always the chance that it pulls off and it's kind of like a hanging W. And then it does exactly that and then it crashes. So I just want to make sure we're on the same page. Either way, this is going to be a historical collapse. Whether we go up one more time and get more sub resistance. You know, and if it's on XRP, you would say, hey, there's a chance. And I'm assuming the 200 A's up here somewhere. So we could go somewhere up there. I like the one, you know, the 118 for this particular area. So there's the 118. So if we if we don't bounce off of here, this is mute. If we go down, this is mute. But this is something that could potentially happen. So I want you guys to be aware of every angle. Again, is it worth the risk? To me, it is not. I got Memorial Day stuff going on. Could there be a nice bounce up? Sure, there could. But at the end of the day, guys, this is coming right back down. But, I mean, there could be, you know, it, it could be a scenario Shit, did I just take that off of here? What am I, some kind of moron? Okay, no, I didn't. I just got to restart it. So, but there is a scenario here where if you were in a gamble mindset, it's 50-50. I mean, we're going to collapse at the end of the day. But do you think Bitcoin's going to come up and make this touch? Since, Or do you think it's just going to collapse? Because there's a chance that this is over as well, guys. But I'm just saying, there's that chance if you look at the 45 or bring it out even farther... Right? You've got this W that, well, God only knows what the fuck that ugly thing is, but it's an M. So sideways and down consolidation, which it did, if you want to call it that, but I think that's kind of like a fucking, I mean, fuck. So this is where I would say go get some more historical data for you. I just, I, I could see this bouncing up and making one more move. I don't think it'll come up this far, but I mean, you could say that Bitcoin could run up to there, but I think it's very unlikely. Like, that's what I'm saying. Is it worth a gamble? To me, it's not because I know it's going to collapse after, but it could always do that and finish off the over the top, you know, style cup and handle. You know, I think it could finish something like this. That's what I'm saying. I don't think it's going to go way up there. Is it improbable? Yes. But I'm just saying it's a chance. There's a possibility that that could happen. And then you're going to get real fucking FOMO in here. You know, that's when real FOMO would start. You know, that is a possibility. So if you guys are gamblers, I'm not saying you should. I'm just saying if you want to take a gamble, there's some indicators that this could be a sideways and up move real quick before it absolutely collapses. We already nailed it yesterday, but now we've got to diagnose the pattern again. What are we going to do at 88 cents now? Because now it's sticking around here. To me, there's no volume. So it would just be another artificial push up. But, you know, it is trying to act as support now. If it can go back over it, it would act as support instead of resistance. Like it looked like this morning. We could have got a mid bounce off. You know, but that's what I'm saying. It went up and around. Likely you're going to get another touch, though, is my thing. Like, this is a perfect spot to pull back to 65, right, and double bottom. And then if it doesn't fall out collapse, it can come up and create that pattern that I'm talking about, which would be the one right there. If it doesn't bounce off of there, it does this like I'm showing. It doesn't go down to 20, but it creates that effect. So it's just a quick update to show you what I'm looking at. If you want to gamble, I mean, I wouldn't. But this is definitely a spot that some people are playing the bounce, playing it as a res uh, support level, even though it's resistance.
So, I, I mean, it would be a huge gamble if you do this because the point is, is V-Chain, if it double bottoms, it's down at like 5-2. So, are you going to risk it going down to 5-2 to make a play? And 5-2 from here, guys, is 54% of your portfolio. To take a chance that it could make a play to 17, which is very unlikely. But it could do that to complete the pattern and then eventually come down and break through that low support. But I think it's got to come double bottom. That's just my personal opinion. Sure, it could break out, but if it does, it's like hitting the lottery and it's just going to crash anyhow. So is it worth it? Not to me. So T Speaker 222 XRP Future Millionaire. I've been an excellent future. Did you but OG? I got people over here from Memorial Day, a house packed, but I wanted to give you guys an update. Join Tom's Army 999 a month. We get the exclusive and elusive T Fan badge. You become part of the most exclusive and elusive community on YouTube family oriented and we will be here for you stay true and stay blessed to hear the family screaming in the background